What's going on everybody? Now this video is just going to be a review of what we learned so far about classes plus a little bit more. So I hope to keep this video under 10 minutes so I'm just going to start chopping away. So what we learned we can make character variable because I, I made my own uh, variable called a character and I'm going to call one uh, smart and the other one dumb. And uh, all our variables are public variables, so we can access them anywhere in the program, which I already know. And you have this is what you've already seen before. But don't worry, I'm going to change it. We can output, uh, let's say, Dumb's health to the screen. And I decide to call that variable HP. And it happens to be five. Well, the default value is five. Now let's say I end the line a couple times. And let's say smart attacks dumb somewhere in the code in the program. Smart dot remember the dot operator attack dumb. Now I want to copy and paste and display the same code. And we run it. And uh this time we see the health goes down to four because we're only displaying Dumb's HP again. And because uh, we set our default value with an attack of one, so it's going to take one HP away from everything. No matter what, it's always going to be reduced to four. Well, it's kind of, games are kind of boring when there's nothing random. It's pretty predictable that you're going to do one damage every single time. You usually want to make things a little bit random. So a couple videos back, I talked about random numbers. So I'm going to include the C time library, and if you haven't, if you don't know how to use random numbers, I made a video on functions where we need this. We need this piece if we're going to use our random numbers here because this keeps our numbers flowing in randomly from time. I also made a function in one of these videos, which I'm going to go ahead and add it. I decided to make it an int type and I called it random and it's going to take in two parameters max min and it's a real simple function and this is going to return rand mod max minus min plus one plus min now, if you forget what this function does, let's say I entered 7 for the max value, and then uh, I'm going to switch these because it should be min and max, just not to confuse the user. If you forgot what this does, um, it's going to take, um, if you entered uh, 3 and 7 for the min and max value, it's this is going to generate any random number between 3 and 7. It's going to be an integer type. It's not going to be any decimals or anything like that because it's an integer type variable, a function. And now... Let's go ahead and change this attack here. See, when we call the attack function, this is going to take from the enemy's HP this weapon every time. Because based on the weapon that he has equipped, and based on his attack value here. Well, the default weapon here that we have equipped is a fist with an attack bonus of zero, which would make sense as a default weapon. Alright, but let me make a new weapon here. Let's say uh, I decide to make a weapon, and I'm going to call it just X, simple weapon. And I say X dot attack bonus is equal to four. Well, I want to set smarts weapon, smarts weapon. Oh, I'm sorry, my weapon. You can double click here, just automatically type it in, is equal to x. Well, guess what? If I run this code now, he's going to do uh, some damage to this guy here. Because, uh, remember, the 4, his weapon has an attack damage of 4. So 4 plus the 1 is 5. So he's going to do 5 damage because he has his own attack value. You know, and maybe a smart's really strong, so I can raise this attack up to maybe 50 or something like that. 
and he'll be doing 55 damage, but it's still going to be doing 55 damage the entire time. Let me go ahead and make this 3 so we can leave one hit point. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to get to the point. Let me see where I'm at on time. I'm at 5 minutes, good. Got plenty of time, I think. Alright. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this code here. Instead of using the my weapon attack bonus, I'm going to add another variable to the weapon class. And I'm going to make it a, 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 an integer type. I'm going to keep it public. And I'm going to call it volatility. And if you don't know what that is, don't worry, I'm going to explain it. And I'm going to go to my constructor, and I'm just going to make the volatility, hope I spelled that right, uh, equal to 6 as a default value. And I'll show you what it means in a second. Okay, let's go over here. My weapon attack bonus. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to call the random function that I created at the top of this page just now. I'm going to go to random. The left parameter is going to be my weapon. And notice I don't have to call the character because I'm inside the character class now. I can just use my weapon since it's right there. That's the name of the variable. Dot attack bonus plus 0.5, which is one half of the volatility. Weapon dot volatility. Oh, and since this is a minimum value, I'm going to subtract it. And I'll, sh I'll promise I'll explain to you what this does in a second. <clears throat> so this is the thing that's kind of new because I'm mixing up a function with a class. But other than that, it should hopefully it's pretty self-explanatory. And I got a spell bonus, right? Just make sure you spell that one right. And make sure you still spell it right over here. And hopefully there's no errors. Now what this is going to do, let's look at this here. So we still, our character, let's just look at it from Smart's perspective. He has an attack of 1. But his he's got a weapon with an attack bonus of 3. And now, um, and I want this to be a plus. Okay. Let's look at this code here. So right here, we have the 1. We got 1 plus a random number between what? Well, my weapon is 3 minus 1 half of the volatility. Well, the volatility is 6, right? So 3 minus 3 is 0. Well, then we got 3 plus 3 is 6. So this weapon is going to do a damage between 1 and 7 damage every time. Let's go ahead and run this code. Look, his hit HP is 4. Look at the bottom number. Now it's 1. When you play this game, it's, see how it's random every time? You never know what the damage is going to be. It's going to be random every time. Maybe you have a hammer, and it has a very high volatility. Where's my, where's my weapon at? Maybe the hammer has 12. You can kill in one hit, or you could barely do any damage. You know, you can make it minus 3, but you can also do a lot of damage. And I know he has negative HP. Or maybe you have a gun and it has consistent weapons. Maybe it has a 1 volatility. He's going to do about the same amount of damage every time. Consistency. Generally consistency is good, but maybe you like to have some uh, craziness. 50. He could do almost no damage. He could, do na he could actually heal the guy. He can actually give the guy points because he, you know, if you do the math, which wouldn't happen. But, you know. But that's just the, that's just something with the randomness. And uh, let's see where I'm at. I got nine minutes. All right, so that's that's it for now. I was gonna cover one more thing, but I think I'll just do another review in the next video, or maybe I'll just move on. I'm probably just gonna move on because everything else is pretty self-explanatory from here on out. So next we're going to be talking about multiple uh, CPP files hopefully. So I'll see you next time.